guys, welcome to Life in Motion. Behind me is the Audi Q7. Let's have a little look. So what's my first impressions? Well, it's a big car. Um, if I just, <laughs> over here. Look, there's my car. You can kind of see, if I put it, mm, so I go to the front. That's where the cars sit, and if we go to the back. Oh, actually, my car looks bigger. Mm. Anyway, it's a massive car. It's a really big car. Um, it looks good in the grey. I like really like the Daytona grey with the uh, with tinted windows. Uh, it is a nice size, but it's not actually too big, which is nice. Uh, I think it looks really good as well. If you have a look at it, I'm not wasn't sure about the old one. Actually, the new one I think looks. I think it looks pretty good. So this one is a uh, 2016. Audi Q7. It's got the standard S-Line wheels, uh, which are absolutely fine. Massive profile. Uh, they're probably really, really comfy, but uh, they're okay. Uh, it's in Daytona grey, which is a really, really nice colour. Actually, there is a slight scratch on this one, um, but actually it really covers up the dirt really nicely. Uh, obviously, it's Quattro. Uh, it's got tinted windows. It has a automatic boot lid. It has those little sweepy uh, indicators. Where's the key? I'll show you. It has the little sweepy indicators, which look pretty cool. Um, obviously sensors, all those kind of bits and bobs. Uh, yes, it's a pretty, pretty nice looking car to be honest. Right, I'm just gonna, just gonna jump inside. Have a little look. Ah, so I can already see this is, yeah, this has got Audi's virtual cockpit. Uh, which looks really nice, doesn't it? So you can kind of change, if you look on the thing, you can change the view. Oh, you can change the view, I'll just put the key in. There we go. Oh, that's better, all lights up. So if I press the little view button, Barza. you can change it. Ah! And then if I press that button, oh, of course. But you know, while we're here, oh, there you go, look. Wait. Wait. Oh, how good does that look? Awesome, isn't it? And you can kind of press the view, make those bigger and smaller. 40 miles, 40.2 miles to gallon. Bloody hell. Fair enough. So this is what it looks like inside. Um, yeah, nice steering wheel. It's not too big. A uh, nice shaped steering wheel. We've got all the different kind of, we've got the aluminium, we've got the kind of hard, the hard plastic. Um, everything's all illuminated. That's the little um, uh, head up display knob thing. In the middle, what a nice little place, to, it's such a nice place to be. Um, that's one thing I think with Audis, is they are a really, really nice place to be. I was really tempted by an Audi. Um, I got the Mini, but maybe next time, maybe in future I can get an Audi, but it's very nice inside. These seats are nice, these are the standard seats. You've got Alcantara in the middle, and then you've got the leather. Um, but it is a really nice place to be. Look at all the different stuff here, look how nice everything looks. It actually is. You've got to admit, this is such a nice little interior. Just have a little look at all of this. Does look nice. This is nice. The gear stick feels good. All the buttons look nice. Obviously, got the little pop-up screen as well, which can go up and down. You press the little button, it goes up and down. I think it's a really, really nice place to be. So, first impressions on the inside are really, really good. So, space inside the cabin is spot on. It's really nice. It's nice, big size. In the seat, obviously, I can adjust the seat. They're electric, so I can adjust those. But when you're in this position, yeah, it feels like a nice sized car. It doesn't feel too big. It is a big car. So. I'm not saying it doesn't feel big, because it is a big car, but it doesn't feel too big. It doesn't feel like a big lumbering boat. It feels really nice. Uh, inside, it's comfy. The seats are good. Always out, we've had really nice seats. This is an S-Line, so again, maybe they're a bit stiffer. But actually, no, they're really, really nice. They've got not, they hold you really nicely. Uh, again, view is nice. In the back, looks good. Yeah, you've got, so you've got the, the three in the middle, and you have got two in the boot as well. And you can actually see that one's laying back. So actually, these do lay back way forward. They come, they slide forwards and backwards as well, uh, which is which is yeah, really really nice. Good good interior. I guess we can tour this my tech section or whatever we want to call it. So, what tech have we got in here? Well, this is a optional virtual cockpit. As you can see, it's a big LED screen thing. It's like twelve inches or something, uh, and it gives you your sat nav, phone, radio, and your kind of normal car bits and bobs. Vehicle lights faulted. Mm. No idea about that. Oh, well, we're going to ignore that. Um, all your bits of bobs and buttons on here, which is normal. Now, in the middle, we've got this little trackpad. If I look on the screen here, and I press the menu button, 
I'm pretty sure I can, yeah, so I can scroll using this little scroller there. And that scrolls through all different modes. And if I went to something like uh, oh, mm, nav, I'm gonna try and show you the different things. So if I go in there, ah, here you go, right. So if I go on here and I go, and I draw a letter, T, and look, I can just delete it. Delete. That is pretty cool. Uh, oh, that is pretty cool. Other features in here, uh, it's got obviously all the lights and bits and bobs. It's got um, automatic parking brake. It's, yeah, it parks itself. Uh, it's just a pretty, pretty nifty car in here. Yeah, it's nice. It's not a bad spec at all. Uh, I like it a lot. Just head into the back. We'll have a look. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Check this out. Now, if I just put this over here, look at the legroom I've got between my knees and the seat. Now, I'm not tall. I'm about, what, five... 5'11", I'm not, I'm about 5'8", but 5'8", 5'9", and look, there's loads and loads of room. Uh, obviously this can slide forward, so there you go, look, if that's all the way forward, then obviously you, you haven't got a lot of room. But if I slide all the way back, look how much room I've got, I've got loads of room. Also, down here as well, some sort of thing, ah, here it is, look, this slides back. It's like a bed. This is nuts. This is really, really nice. Um, so yeah, in the, what I was saying is, how do you get this... Oh, yes! There you go, so that comes down, and then, ah, oh, there you go, so you can see those two seats in the back, so they pop up, obviously, when that's up here, and then you have a seven-seater. Um, but, yeah, there's loads of room in the back. It feels, oh, how do I do this? Ah, pull the little lever thing back. Oh, come on. Yeah, loads and loads of space, it's so nice. Oh, we've got, that's cool. So you've got um, little air conditioning bits and bobs, so you've got the left and the right, I guess. Um, you can get the heated seats in the back, but this one hasn't got it on the outer ones, but this one hasn't got it. There is, so some people don't like that. There is a, a, a sense of it, I guess, for the differential to go back to the, because it is a four-wheel drive, but that is a big win. But actually, not that, I mean, yeah, it's not great, but it's not that bad. And actually, because it's so high, you've got a plenty enough uh, space there. If you're going to sit in the middle, your knees aren't going to be that crushed. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm amazed. It looks great. Um, so let's just go through a quick few, maybe negatives-ish of the car. I would probably have a lighter headlining. As a standard, the S-Line comes with a dark headlining. I think it's supposed to feel a little bit more luxurious, but I quite like a lot of open space. To be honest, I probably have a sunroof. I have a sunroof in my car, and it's just awesome, so I probably have a sunroof. Um, the seats, if you think this is, I don't know, when new, maybe a 50, 60 grand car, you probably expect full leather. Um, although I don't mind Alcantara, I've got them in my car, and they're great. Most people probably spending this money would probably want full leather. It is an option, so that's maybe a bit of a drawback. Um, other than that, I mean, no, it's pretty much spot on. Right, let's have a look in that. Ah. Doesn't seem to be... Is the... I can't see. Is that... Is that on? No, the child lock's on, maybe. Maybe it's... it's ow! Ah, there you go. Easy! Whew. Right, let's have a little look around the back. Oh, that looks awesome actually. Look at that! Lights are good. Right, let's have a look again there. Electric tailgate. Good mark. Oh, there you go. Awesome, what a load of space. Ah, now you see here, how cool is this? So, these little buttons here, I won't do it too far because that thing's in the way, but with those seats pushed forward, if you press those little buttons, the back seats electrically raise, like that. And that one is... Oh, it's a tow ball! No way. Ow. Oh. It says it looks like a table, but let me just press a button. <gasps> no way is that gonna come out the bottom. <gasps> it is, look! Incredible is that? And then I guess you press that. Little button there, and then look, it goes back. What? How cool is that? All right, credit rose to That's a pretty cool. Oh, oh, that's a pretty cool feature. I'm going to admit, that's awesome, guys. That's been the Audi Q7, like a first look. I think it's great. I think it's a really, really good SUV. It's perfect for a big family. It's got seven seats, so it's probably a big family car. Uh, I think it looks great. I think it 
has a really good presence about it. It's not too big, but it is a big car. It's got a lot of space inside. Tech is great. Admittedly, a lot of the things on here are added on, but I think, again, if you add it up right, they look brilliant. Um, we've got 40.2 miles per gallon on a big two and a half, whatever it is, ton car with a, a three litre V6. It's absolutely awesome. That's great miles per gallon. Um, Overall, yes, I definitely recommend this car. If you like the video, make sure to like it. Comment what you do like. If you like the Q7, uh, make sure to comment what you like. If you have one as well, tell us what you do like, what you don't like about it, so we can we can make sure everyone knows about it. Uh, subscribe to see future videos, but for now, I'll see you soon. I'm sorry.